Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika, just country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. So y'all, today is day three after me having um, emergency gallbladder removal surgery. So still a lot I can't do. It's still very early, but there's a lot that needs to be done here. Um, had some quails and stuff to hatch and all that type of stuff. So even though I can't do none of that stuff, I'm going to try to film what I can for y'all. It's encouraged that I move around and stuff. But I won't be lifting, bending, so I'm going to be dependent on um, the kids on a run day to get this stuff going. So, yeah, let's see what today brings. Alright, so Kylie is filling up um, a water for the quail because y'all remember I got the... 24 quail um, for my quail lady while I was in the process of incubating my eggs. So this is them right here. But it's time for their thing to be changed. So we're going to transfer them into a clean brooder. So that's why Kylie is uh, filling up this one. So it can go off in here. Alright, so we Tatiana is putting down some diatomaceous earth in there. Um, and then we're gonna put a little bit of barn lime in it. And diatomaceous earth is mainly to just help with um it can be used for dietary purposes. Alright, like I was saying for di um diatomaceous um dietary purposes it helps with worming and all that type of stuff i use the food grade one right here from barn lime it just helped with the smells and stuff like that it's the same stuff that goes into the um chicken coop so that's all they do it don't harm them or anything like that but time to get them outside they gotta be in the garage so try to keep down the smell because they stink okay so so now we're putting food in for them and then they waterer is gonna go in right there here's data tomato for you Don't deviate from how I told you. You open it up this way, they will fly out. Just take it and pull it back to you. I'll stick my hand in there. Okay, y'all, so y'all know I was back and forth to the hospital while my eggs was incubating and it was right around the time that they needed to be like the humidity and stuff and I just wasn't home. So I got two in the incubator right now out of 34 eggs. I managed to get two, three, four, six eggs hatched and I do think it's because we wasn't home. I wasn't able to locked down like it was supposed to be and all that but I'm still thankful for that uh, for those because it was out of my control at that point my health is more important 
But I already had these that we just transferred um, that I got while I was incubating them. So I gotta bring two more out here, but that's what's in this brooder right here, the baby baby ones that just hatched. All right, y'all, so, um, the one by the, the grocery store, I didn't go in or anything. No, 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 no. But Rondé went in, I want, I've been having a taste for salad. Um, I'm still nauseous and just feel drained today, but I guess that's to be expected. So, wanted some stuff for some salad and I wanted some fruit. So, specifically strawberries and blueberries. So, I'm about to show y'all what we end up getting from the stove. Not much, because there wasn't much that was needed. So, right here. Let's see. Um, got some reduced fat um, cheese, because everything needs to be low fat. Got some blueberries. Some strawberries. Ooh, those look so good. Um, I like shredded lettuce. So two bags of shredded lettuce. Some bacon bits. And the kids is eating salads. Everybody eating salads too. So all this stuff is not for me to put on myself. Um, uh, some cheese, garlic, um, croutons. Some Caesar, um, croutons. Some um turkey meat. And they like the whole lettuce. I don't like the, the chunky lettuce. And some ranch. We already got some different salad dressings. But I won't be able to have a lot of the salad dressing because it's not low fat. I don't like low fat salad dressing. So I will have to have just a little bit of that. Alright y'all. So uh, this is um a couple days don't went by. This is my fifth day post op. So, if y'all don't know, um, on the 18th, May 18th, 2023, I had emergency gallbladder surgery. So, that's what I'm saying about fifth day post-op. So, here to drop my son off at his life classes. And I feel a little better to walk. So, I'm going to Lowe's because I want a water dispenser because I'm tired of these kids wasting water. Buying bottled water, wasting water, pouring it out and all that. So I'm looking for a cheap water dispenser. So that's what I'm about to go in here and see. Um, it's Primo, Primo, the water dispensers, like for the five gallon, three gallon jugs. Oh yeah, they are uh... Okay, y'all. So, found them. So, this is the one that's on sale and it gives you the hot and cold option. Um, it was $129. Now it's on sale for $99. Then we can use military discount and get a little bit more off. So, I didn't want to spend it. But sometimes you got to invest to make things, you know, better. I think it can take the five gallon one. Um, yeah, three and five gallon bottles, so separately. Yeah, so... I'll probably do that get that one since it's on sale they got some different ones here but don't need nothing expense like you know too crazy so probably just get this one all right y'all y'all know i couldn't leave Lowe's without looking 
at this area right here. I don't need none that they got here, but well, cucumbers would be nice. Oh, they stuff looks so good. They do got some cucumbers. Right here, some nice looking ones. Spaghetti squash. I may come back. Um, it's gonna run day up here. I don't get enough walking. Everything looks good. Peppers. They got some nice, pretty plants. Guess since we're done with the cold. Everything can grow like it's supposed to. If ever full too. Okay, y'all, so we are back home. It'll be in the morning when I set that stuff up because, uh, well, when we set it up, I can't be lifting nothing because I'm tired. I did a lot of walking, um, which movement is encouraged, um, but um, I'm tired. So, y'all, let me tell y'all what happened when we, was all, when we was almost to Lowe's. So, y'all know when you going like you at Lowe's and you ride um along where the the garden center is so we was coming in through that entrance and this man come running out the garden center he had a drill and a bag like to put the drill in in his hand he was flying running y'all so when we parked his truck was parked right there was already on and everything he skidded out so when we got through the garden center uh, we asked the lady, did anybody just steal something? She said, yeah, she was trying to write down, which we had, it. we had, we saw his tag because we was part, we was part right there because he ran straight out in front of the car. I was like, what in the world? So she said that he put his stuff down and said, my wife having a baby. But when she looked in the bucket, he had already took all the, the price and everything off the drill. Oh, almost $300 in merchandise. Well, he's all like, oh my goodness, we just having to pull up and be coming through right during that time. Just like, wow. Like, you know, and he was going to be on the camera that was right there. Like, it's just what people do and the things that you see. And it's just, it's crazy. 
but yeah y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here um i hope y'all enjoyed it um it was nice for me to be able to get out and um you know walk and stuff like that still having some issues with i'm not eating um it's still kind of emotional here and there just like an emotional feeling i don't have much of an appetite um at all nauseous but they say all oh, this is normal because it's just uh, you know the fifth day um after the surgery so yeah so i feel like i'm doing very good i'm not in that pain y'all i'm not in that constant pain that i had got to be in and i don't have no diseased gallbladder that's full of infection and all that so those are pluses that's what i keep telling myself so with that being said i hope y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so be notified um hold up let me go ahead and say it now i'll say this in the next video because i yeah y'all be safe and i'll see y'all in the next one okay till next time bye